Hi, and welcome to this really quick tutorial on how to create some really simple and uh, stylish sticker graphic thingy or whatever. Okay, so here's our blank document, and uh, you can zoom in by pressing either the minus key to zoom out or the plus key to zoom in. Or you can hold the control, the command key, if you're on a Mac, and scroll back and forth to zoom in and out. To pound the work area, you can hold the space bar and just move the mouse. You don't have to click, you just move the mouse. Or, alternatively, you could just hold the middle mouse button and uh, move it around. So that's a bit of, a little bit of navigation for you. So let's get started. So the first thing for a sticker, we're just going to drag out the ellipse. And uh, when you do it like that, you notice it's not really a circle. We want a perfect circle. So we're going to hold the control key while dragging. And that kind of snaps it either to a perfect ellipse or a perfect circle. So it's kind of uh, incremental snapping. All right, so we have that done. Next, we're going to, just like in our other document right here, if you notice, there's a cut right there, so we're going to make that cut right now. And the way we do that is to get the draw bezier tool, or you could have just used any uh, rectangle, but this really gives me some control, so uh, I'm just going to click, press enter, because all I want is just one line, and uh, just going to increase the stroke width, but to do that, I need to bring up the strokes panel. And the strokes panel I can find under Object, Fill, and Stroke. Once you press this, you can see the shortcut right there is Shift, Control, F. The stroke panel comes up. Uh, another one, Fill, I want Stroke. Or rather, I want Stroke Style. So after you're selecting Stroke Style, you just increase the width. Not too much. And that's fine. But I can't use this in a pathfinder kind of way. You're going to see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go object, oh sorry, path, and I'm going to go object to path. What that's done is it's created my, well, no, it's not, it's not done yet. So I'm going to choose the other option, which is stroke path. Let's see if that does it, yeah. So instead of one straight line, I now have a shape, all right? So now, I can actually select both of these, go into my path options, and I'm going to use, uh, let's go with the exclusion. Yeah. As you can see, this actually creates a cut. Go to path, break a path, break a part. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So now, we just delete these points, and that gives us a nice cut going through our circle to create our sticker. Next step would be to flip this in the horizontal, well, vertical line. And we're gonna just click on this again, to go into our rotate and skew mode. We're gonna rotate this like around right there, I think. And we're going to change the color so that we can discern it as opposed to the other part of the circle. So, oh, and uh, we need to bring it to top so we can use either these options here or we can just use page up on our keyboard. Page up brings it forward, page down, sends it back. Or alternatively, we could just raise it up or push it back down. In the, in the stack. All right, so now that we, we have that, I'm gonna continue to rotate so that this lines up nice and easy. So let's make this sticker, uh, we can change it up a bit. We're gonna make this one a purple one and we're gonna give this a gradient fill. So in the fill panel, we're gonna come over here to linear gradient, select that, and this is the gradient that we have. Now, this part isn't actually purple, or it's actually a transparent kind of gradient going on right there. Okay, so now 
Let's just select our shape, drag that out. And I really don't want this transparency, so I'm gonna select that color while well, it's already selected. I'm gonna increase the opacity. What I want right there is a bit of darkness going on. Now, the next step would just be to create the inner line right there. What we're gonna do is just duplicate this shape right here. So we're just gonna do a copy and paste. And there we have it. Next, we're gonna turn the fill off and we're gonna add a solid stroke. Uh, the next step would be to create that glare that we had. We're gonna do that with the polyline tool. We could have done a another uh, shape application, path application, but we're gonna use the polyline tool just to make things a bit faster, simpler. Uh, Initially, don't worry about your line bending outside of the shape. We're gonna correct that shortly. So we're gonna come here, select that point, and we're gonna break it. Because if you move this point right now, everything bends along with it. So we need to break that point. The way we do that is make that node a corner node by clicking this icon right here. Now, when we move this handle, uh, it kind of just moves on its own. So that's it. We have our shape, more or less, and uh, we're gonna turn the stroke off and we're gonna add a fill. We're gonna make it white and then we're gonna turn the opacity down, something like that. Now you can notice uh, it's a bit off to the edges, but that's okay. What you can even do is take this a step further and actually apply a gradient. And immediately you see the effect because the gradient actually fades. So what you can do now is just get your gradient tool and kind of make that white. That's the first point. Turn the opacity up. Bring that up a bit. So now you see that effect. It's pretty cool. So that's even taking a step further. Uh, what we can do also is just get the gradient tool again. Actually, bring that down. That's, that was not paid. All right, so now that's what we have. It's looking pretty good. Uh, now we need to do again. Let's just add another layer right here. next step would be to create the shadow that's right under there and that's pretty simple all I did was just copy and paste this little guy right here scale him a bit off so that he's kind of looking like a shadow and I move them down so just page down or use that icon thingy up there and I made it black then I go to filter blur all right, here we go. We're gonna check live preview. This was the bar I used. There we go, nice shadow. And uh, yeah, horizontal, maybe just round this off to 10, 10 and two, 10 right there. Tap down, fine. And that's good. I'm gonna apply that. Cool, close that. And uh, what I wanna do now is turn on the pacey of my color. So it's kind of soft like that. So. There it is, it's a um, sticker graphic inside of Inkscape. So thanks for watching and see you next time.